everyone. This video is all about portable power banks. These things are awesome. I'm gonna share information which might help you decide which capacity is best for you, as well as how many charges you might be able to get out of each of them, with your phone specifically, and also which ones you are allowed to bring onto airplanes. If that sounds good to you, stick around to the end. For the past few years, I've been using the Anchor 20,000 milliamp hour portable power bank, and it's worked great. My only gripe is that it doesn't have USB-C. So thankfully, a company called Inu has sent me these two portable power banks right here, a 10,000 milliamp hour and a 20,000 milliamp hour, and they both have USB-C, so that's great. So what is the right capacity for you? Do you need the 10,000? Do you need the 20,000? Do you need a 15,000 or a 5,000? Which one should you buy? That is the ultimate question. And even though I can't really tell you which one you should buy, I can tell you things you should probably consider if you're trying to figure it out. And that is how many charges would you like to receive out of your portable power bank before it dies? Now, in order to know how many charges you're gonna receive out of your portable power bank, you need to know how big your phone battery is or your iPad or whatever it is you plan on charging up. So I've compiled a list of some of the more popular smartphones and you can see here on the right side is the phone's battery capacity and that is measured in milliamp hours. And if your phone is not on this list, I apologize, but it is very simple to figure out. Just ask Google. Also, if this video is helping you out in any way, pretty please hit that like button because the more likes I get, the more likely YouTube is to recommend this video to other people who might have the same questions you do. I'd really appreciate it, thank you. So now that you know how big your phone battery is, all you need to do now to figure out how many charges it will provide you is divide the power bank's capacity by your phone's capacity and that will tell you how many charges you'll get before the power bank will die. So for example, if you have the iPhone 12, you can see by the chart here that the battery capacity is 2,815 milliamp hours. So let's say you get the 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank, just divide 20,000 by 2,815, and that will give you approximately seven full charges. Say you got the 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank, you just do the same thing and you will get approximately 3.5 full charges. Now that you know how many charges you will get out of each bank, you can start to think about how many times you're gonna to need to charge your phone when you're away. So let's say you go away for the weekend, two days, and you know your phone lasts a full day, then you're only gonna need two charges. And if this is a common occurrence for you, go with the 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank. You'll save on space and cost. But if you're bringing your family along with you and they all need a couple charges each and maybe you throw an iPad in there as well, I would probably recommend you go for the 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank. Now there are even higher capacity portable power banks available on the market. However, the maximum capacity you're allowed to bring on airplanes is approximately 27,000 milliamp hours. So keep that in mind now that everyone's traveling again. So I've been using these almost exclusively to charge my smartphone after the past couple of months and I can tell you they are both great little battery banks. They're both capable of fast charging your smartphone, providing that you use a cable that is capable of fast charging. If you don't have one, luckily Inu provides one in the box for you. They also come with LED displays which indicate the battery percentage remaining in the bank. The LEDs do shut off after about 20 seconds or so, so you don't have to worry about them draining your battery. And if you get the 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank here, they also include a removable flashlight. And there's actually a flashlight built into the bank itself. All you have to do is double click the power button and the light comes on. It's not a bad little light either. The 10,000 milliamp hour bank does not include any flashlights externally or built into the bank itself, but it does come with a little kickstand for your phone. However, it is very difficult to pop in and out. Both of these power banks come with lots of ports here. You got two USB-A ports as well as one USB-C port and it is the same for both of them. All of the ports can output power to charge up your devices. However, if you wanna charge the banks themselves, you have to use the USB-C port. 
And another cool little feature on both of these banks that Inu has provided for us is a little lightning bolt in the LED display to let you know that you're fast charging. I'm sure your phone will let you know that you're fast charging as well, but nonetheless, it's a nice little touch. So if you like these power banks and you wanna pick one up for yourself, use my link in the description. Inu has graciously provided you guys with a 10% discount if you wanna go pick one up. Now the 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank does take about three hours to charge from zero to full, and the 20,000 takes about six hours to charge up from zero to 100, go figure. However, if you do have a high powered wall charger, like I have a 65 watt, I got a 65 watt charger from Aki, this thing charged up the 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank in only two hours. Um, and this outputs 65 watts and I also have a cable that can transfer up to 100 watts. So if you're using high quality items, you can charge them up a little bit faster. Now you're probably gonna wanna use at least a 20 watt brick. I wouldn't try and charge it up with one of those five watt Apple chargers. It would probably take 15 hours or so. So as a matter of fact, one of my secondary lights here just died on me and I am now using one of the power banks to send power to that light so I can finish up this video. Check this out. So I've just plugged it in to the side of the light here and the battery bank is just hanging off the side and now I'm able to finish up this video. So these things are useful for more than just cell phones or iPads. They come in handy more than you know. I've also used one to uh, power continuously power a GoPro during a very long time lapse and that was quite handy as well. So in the instructions it does say that for an 18 watt power brick it'll take about six hours for the 20,000 milliamp hour bank. I want to say thanks to Inu for sending me these power bricks to review. Now they didn't pay me to make this video or anything. These opinions are my own opinions on these products and they don't get to see this, this review before you do. With that being said, I can confidently recommend these power banks to you guys. I have been using them and they just tick all of the boxes. USB-C, fast charging, reliable. They come with extra features that others don't have. So Inu has graciously provided a discount code. If you use the link in the description down below, you'll get 10% discount and I'll get some kickback on the sale. So we both win. Now, if you guys have any more questions about these, maybe there's something you're still wondering that I didn't answer, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'll be sure to get right back to you. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe for more action and we'll see you in the next one.